Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy and with the soil water district. And this is the field that we rolled, crimped, and planted June 7th into cereal rye. And this is what it looks like on July 22nd. So a month and a half, we have soybeans coming up. It was planted to a population of 150,000. As you can see, the stand is a little thin and we kind of knew that after planting. Uh, we have some weeds breaking through. Um, I don't know the field history on this field to know if weed pre pressure was heavy, but here we have a comparison strip where there was no cereal rye mulch. Soybeans were planted into this, about five rows. So there's this random soil soybean plant. Here's another one, but just comparing, just visually observing heavy weed pressure versus 50, 60, 70 percent less weed pressure for sure. I mean, as the cereal rye, you can see it all killed pretty, really well. We got some sprigs that have kind of come up, but certainly not enough to be overly concerned about. It's not the perfect weed clean field, but yeah, again, we'll see what this looks like come August when the canopy fully closes. Dan Perkins, Jasper County, Cover Crop Guy.